Now, you're a big fan, I understand, of, well, Britain, actually, but British comedy in particular. Is that right? Correct. Which, Benny Hill, because that's always popular in Germany, or more up-to-date? What's your favourite British comedies that you... At, at the moment, I'm quite into uh, How Not to Live Your Life. Harry Enfield is another one of your... Yes, yeah. yeah Harry he does Enfield. a very good German uh, impersonation, so... Which one? Oh, Jürgen the German, do you know? Because <laughs> he's all went, how, uh, I'm struggling now, what did he say? I... <laughs> you say that I could give it a, a try because... Well, you got the accent right, is it? I... <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was getting at. So he's at this bus station, I don't know but if, you, if you've got time. Yeah. He's, he's at this bus station and uh, there's this Englishman, very smart, you know, very nicely dressed and there comes the German with the funny jacket and the white socks <laughs> and uh, <laughs> he comes to this bus station and he's wondering why the bus is late so he's I'm Jürgen why is the bus not on time and then he, he goes a bit crazy and in the end he's going absolutely crazy this would have never happened under the German control you know <laughs> <laughs> even Mussolini made the buses run on time you know <laughs> <laughs> that's very good Does it extend to British music as well, your love affair of here, or not? No, I like David Hasselhoff only, so... Uh, Hassel <laughs> and the Scorpions. And the Scorpions. I can't whistle. I'm like... That's, I, I was so confused, you know, obviously, racing now for an, for an English team. Um, everyone thought I'm a huge David Hasselhoff fan. <laughs> he's... App apparently, that's what all the British people think about the Germans, that we love David Hasselhoff, Benny Hill and... Yeah. The Scorpions. Scorpions. I mean, we know the Hoff, <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's not my generation anymore, you know. I'm not looking for freedom anymore, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's a Baywatch thing. So who is it, the Beatles? Yeah, I love the Beatles. Really? Yes, yeah. It's a shame there's no new stuff coming, but I guess... <laughs> Have you not heard? There's not much we can do, so... No, one of them's yeah. gone. Uh, now, cars, you rode cars. I gather your first car wasn't actually a car at all. It was a, uh, what's the word, moped. Yes. Obviously, I was not old enough to, to have the driver's license yet. What, the actual yeah. car with four wheels and I had The first one I had was a BMW X3. Oh, the first car. ghastly. <laughs> it was not so bad. The only difficulty was to park, you know, well, it, to... And it looked like a genital wart. <laughs> and it couldn't go off-road. It was horrible, the X3. Is that why you It was left... quite cool, you know, I was 18. Mm. It was quite cool. Mm, I only like having herpes. <laughs> it's not cool to have herpes, just so you know. What was your first car? My first car? Yeah. Ford Cortina, 1600E. <laughs> you weren't even no herpes. a fetus, were No that? herpes. No herpes, I guess. No, it was superb. It had because a wooden... you, you were not, you know, it wasn't really bling, so you were not pulling the chicks. <laughs> I put fur on the dashboard and a picture of Debbie Harry in the middle of the steering wheel. Who's that? <laughs> oh, sorry. It's like JLS, only much more talented and better looking. Okay. Actually, I don't know what JLS is. Do you know what JLS is? No. Sure. Does anyone here know what JLS is? Jack the Lad Swing. What? Jack the Lad Swing. See, I would have thought you'd have known that. Too busy. Perhaps you've gone deaf with all your motor. Is it loud? With all the hoff in the park. <laughs> is it loud in those cars? Yes. Is it? Yeah, it is. Can you actually hear it if you've got ear things in? Yeah, I have, and I do have actually some padding around as well, because otherwise it's quite loud. And what people don't know, um, to optimise our shifts, you know, the point when you upshift, I had a couple of, in my lap early on, oh, in our I car. had a couple of misshifts, because it's manual, you know, it's much easier with our pedal shift. But we have to, to, you know, to get the timing right, every shift we get a beep. Oh, to tell you to change gear? Yeah. Yeah, so you're not relying on the lights and only the feeling, you also have the beep. Can I just ask, before so we get onto the lap? Beep, beep. Have you, well, it does that? Yeah, <laughs> on top of the engine noise, obviously. That would drive me up the wall. Yeah, but you get, you get used to it. I wouldn't, I'd just go, I'd just rip somebody's ears off for doing that. <laughs> Beeping. It's like those cars that bong when you open the door to remind you you've opened that. the door. I hate that, I hate that as well. I know I've opened the door, I just did it! <laughs> <laughs>